So now we're going to take a look at IP cameras and I.O. controllers. IP cameras are network connected cameras. They're used in security and surveillance, whether it be at your home or maybe in a business or maybe you're some sort of spy and you're mounting a camera someplace and you got to keep track of somebody. I.O. controllers, on the other hand, are network connected switches. They are connected to the Internet and they're used to control physical devices, whether it be gates, cameras or alarms. So with the demo for this is Eric Bonala, and he's actually here with us today to do question and answer, and I hope I got his name right. If you haven't seen his other videos he's done of his new mobile app written with uh, Delphi XC5 that runs on both iOS and Android, controlling all sorts of digital video cameras and gates and alarms and stuff like that, really should check those out. But here's a quick demo of basically everything he does for you right here. Hi. My name is Eric, I'm from Digiport, and today I will show you how to integrate your application with IP cameras and I.O. controllers. An IP camera is basically a small computer with the Linux operating system that sends compressed images through the network. Most IP cameras, they provide us an API that allows us to get the images from it and control it. As this is a network device, it will have an Ethernet port that we can communicate to it. And this other camera also provides us with an I.O. Con IO port that could be used to integrate with external devices. But that will be covered with the I.O. controllers. The I.O. controllers here are used for integration with physical devices such as a gate, as doors, anything that you can turn on and turn off. And as it is a network device, it will have an Ethernet port, of course, but it will, will also provide you with some inputs and output ports that can actually control the physical devices. This is an example of I.O. controller and this other one is another I.O. controller from another manufacturer that provides an HTTP interface very easy to use that we are going to show you throughout this presentation. This is an example of a real world app developed with Delphi XE5 that, I that is already published on Google Play. With this app we can view live cameras and control devices such as opening and closing a gate. I will show you now a very easy way to get live images from IP cameras to use on your apps with very little code. An IP camera is just a computer with a Linux operating system that sends images through the network. Those images could be H.264 video, MPEG-4, H.263, and Motion JPEG. Here I'm going to focus on Motion JPEG because that's the easiest compression to handle. H.264 and MPEG-4 would require a specialized decoder to view those images, but with Motion JPEG we can do everything from Red Studio. Okay, I have a couple examples to show you. This first example is a very simple program showing you how to grab a static image from the camera. Basically, I have an HTTP client and now my program is written on this button. What I do is request an image from the camera using this URL that it is specific to this camera model and load on the screen. That's a very simple way to get an image from the camera. And of course, if I do a lot of requests, I can show a live video to the user. This is not the best way to get the images from the camera, but that's the easiest way. I will show you now a more elaborated example that uses Motion JPEG. Motion JPEG is just a sequence of JPEG images. Basically, I will do a video request to the camera and it will start sending those images to us. To handle this sequence of images, we need a parser 
that will locate the JPEG images from the stream, extract and send, and send to the coding. Okay, here my, my parser is written here. That's just a routine that will analyze the received data. We will search for the start and the end of a J the JPEG. We will decode the JPEG and, say and load on the screen. Okay. Um, this ugly, things, ugly thing here uh, is because we are not using multi-threading and since, he, since the indie components they are blocking um, I need to do that so my interface will not get hanged. Okay? But the best way to work with Indie, if you are working with this component here, is to use with multi-threading. Multi okay? So basically here my button, I will just request the, the video with a different URL, that's the URL for video, and when data is received here, I will get this event and I will process the the buffer okay let's see how that works okay I'm getting live video now from the camera if I activate something from there you can see very easy to do all the source code the source code will be provi provided for you for any reference Using I.O. controllers, we can in integrate a large variety of physical devices to our application and do actions such as turning a light or air conditioner on and off, opening or closing gates, all remotely. To do that, all we need is a network I.O. controller such as this one. And those devices usually provide us an HTTP interface so we can just call an URL and we can drive some actions. Here in, in this example, I will show you how easy it is to control this device using Indie HTTP component. So for these three buttons here, I just have the same code that's just call the action that I, that I want from the device, okay? And let's see how it works. So turn on the lights. That could actually be the lights from your house, from your company, anything. Turn off and start the cooler. See, with just four lines of codes, see, I can I, I can integrate with a physical device very easily with Delphi. And now I want to show you a real-world application for this kind of integration with external devices. With this app, I can open and close the gate from my company, see? This was all made in Delphi XE5 using standard FireMonkey controls and indie communication components. I'll just close the gate. And that concludes my presentation. I hope you enjoyed and to know a little more about Digifort please visit www.digifort.com. You can also view the video that I made showing Digifort mobile client. To find the video just look for Delphi surveillance in YouTube. It will be the first video to show up. Thank you very much.